Welcome back. I'm joined by Championship correspondent Pascal Lemay to preview Saturday's clash between Fulham and Birmingham. Pascal, let's start with the home side. Back to back defeats now after losing to Sunderland in the Cup, the replay. Yeah, I think that was quite a big game for them. Obviously, you know, they might fancy, you know, having a good run in the Cup and they took the lead in that replay because obviously they did really well at the stadium of like to get a 0 0 draw yeah. there and obviously bring Sunderland down to Craven Cottage and, and they ended up taking the lead at Craven Cottage. I mean, ended up losing 3 1, which is quite disappointing. I don't think it didn't matter too much to the club. Obviously, a Cup run would be nice, but I think the league is the main focus here because they're only seven points off the drop zone, you know after their weekend defeat at Blackburn Rovers and that was a disappointing game as well. Blackburn, very inconsistent side themselves and yeah, to lose 2-1 there was quite disappointing. So yeah, there's certain problems to address for Kit Simons definitely and I was quite surprised that they weren't as active as I might have thought they was in, would have been in the uh, tra transfer window. I think on de deadline day they didn't sign anyone. They let two players go on loan, Chris David and uh, Thomas Eisfeld. They let them go out on loan to European sides and I think Eisfeld's uh, one for me. I was very surprised that he hasn't done anything for Fulham this year. I think two, three seasons ago, he was in the Arsenal youth team yeah. and people were really talking about him maybe breaking into the first team, not before long, but hasn't never really quite worked out for him. He's obviously a creative midfielder. And obviously, they've signed him on, I think they got him in the summer on a free transfer. They got him on quite a long-term contract, so they'll let him go to Europe, see if he can maybe find some form there, bring him back in the summer, maybe have another look. But I was surprised at how little he has done this season, but obviously Brian Ruiz leaving as well to go to Levante. He lost him, but I think he, he, he scored some key goals then this season, but... You know, the minute they got relegated from the Premier League, given what he did in the World Cup for Costa Rica, I thought people might have signed him last summer, but they didn't. But now he's gone to Levante. But I don't think it would be a huge loss for them because he's sort of a more of a fringe player. Moving on to the away side, been in decent form, but too many draws lately. Uh, yeah, I think it's unbeaten in five now, but three draws in a row. Last weekend against Norwich, you know, it was quite a tough game for them. Norwich, one of the teams above them in the top half, and Norwich obviously chasing for the playoffs. But I think they did quite well to not let Norwich score. There was a nil-nil draw. You know, Norris have got so much firepower up front with the likes of Hooper, Cameron, Jerome. You know, you've got Lewis Grabman coming off the bench and lots in midfield. Nathan Redmond out wide. There's a lot of threats. Obviously, Redmond going back to his former club there. But Norwich, they've so many threats. And Birmingham did really well there to uh, to keep them out. And you know, Michael Morrison, I don't think he played. He's now up to up for a month. That's a key blow for them at the back. But obviously, they didn't do too much on transfer deadline day either. But the, the big thing was keeping Damari Gray. You know, so much talk about him. Obviously, Bournemouth, the league leaders in the championship constant bids I think they had several bids you know um, just kept up in the price each time I think it went up to about 5 million in the end but Birmingham held their resolve you know promising 18 year old and if he can have a good second half of the season you know a Premier League club might come sniffing in the summer and I think they might just think you can get more money you know from a, a big Premier League club than as opposed to one of the smaller championship clubs because I was quite surprised to see Bournemouth you know flashing around 5 million I was quite surprised to see that so I think they'll keep him for the summer you know I don't think Birmingham they're going to get into the playoffs this season they're still quite a long way off but they keep him until the summer, then they might try and sell him to, you know, get try more money from in the summer from a Premier League club. I think turning down five million to hold their nerve to do that is quite good, wasn't it? Especially money coming in from a bigger club at the top of the championship. So what's your score prediction for this one? Yeah, I think it'd be quite a good game. I think both sides I think they've got a chance in this one. I think they're fairly evenly matched, so I'm gonna go for a two two draw. Sports not out for a two two draw.